nice as it gets. Never been touched, so I'll turn over a couple of these rocks, see if anything's uh Ooh, should be a baby right there. So I climbed back to the other side I was originally on. I was just about to flip these rocks, this little jumble here. I was gonna put my foot right there. But I popped my head around and I could see that coil right there. So it really sucks that my shadow gets in the shot right here because this is a cool angle. But yeah, you can see. Over. Really pretty. Super annoying that my shadow is getting right in the best spot I can be. Nice snake though. Real pretty. Beautiful first ruber of the year, tucked away in a crack, nice, I was just going through this rock pile and I just saw that coil, it's got hanging out there, so super nice snake, see the habitat. Rattling rocks to check them out. Big one. Not gonna mess with them. Let them bask. Nice size one though. Really pretty. Super stoked. Second snake on Rincon. First a Hellerai and then this nice size Ruber. Just chilling. I was flipping all the rocks right there didn't even budge hasn't budged I can see it looking at me it noticed me totally aware but super dope you can see too hasn't even moved super sick super happy Three more little dudes. Nice. Red diamond rattlesnake. Sweet, it's a little little guy. Got a meal though, huh? Looks really skinny by his neck, huh? Yeah, he does. You get an NC2 shot, bro? NC2, red diamond. We're gonna just let him go though, cause he's starting to move and we don't want to bother him. Bottom of a tin pile. Sick. Good start with the homie Brad. First ring con rosy boa. He's trying to go on the high bow, so we're going to grab him. Yes, my first ring con Indian reservation, rosy boa. Oh, right there. He's going to shoot down the high bow. Look at that little dude. Yes. Oh, look at this little dude. Hell yeah. I am pumped. Oh. Sick little boa. Let me know whenever you want this beauty back. Oh, here's Brad with our boa. First one I flipped and my first one on the res. Pretty guy, kind of between a unicolor and a coastal. So sick boa. Just, just pumped. Got his rocks back. That's where he was. We're going to shoot some photos. But I mean, here's the, here's the habitat. Like we're literally going through... Rock jumbles right on the river. You can see. Yeah. You want me to pull him up later? No, he's good. Here's the first boa flipped on the res. Just did a little photo shoot. And yep, like everyone always says, they're hard to shoot. But look at that beautiful creature. I'm gonna let it go right back where we found it. Chill under its rock, come thermo, go down the high bow, whatever she wants. Look at her in the sun. That habitat behind her, ooh, the, that's fire. 
Yeah, all right, here's the last look at our first Rincon Indian Reservation boa. And we're gonna let her go right back into her, her pile. There it goes. I don't know if it's a she, I don't know, I'm calling her a her. Nice size boa though. Oh, nice. She's going back. Back into the hibernacula back there. I wonder if I can see her from up here. No, you're good. She's just going through right there under this big rock. It's all good. I'm just stoked we got one. Yeah. Just really going under. Yeah. She's like, I ain't getting flipped again. I guarantee you we're the first humans this one's ever seen. Yeah. Nobody flips rocks here. No. Nice. So stoked. Um, Brad and I were walking from rock pile to rock pile, and this dude crawled out in front of me, and I was lucky enough to just be able to get him. Coastal patch nose right after the boa. Like, Rincon Reservation. The boa was at the rocks on the far hill. Here's this little dude, my lifer, Coastal Patch Nose. Dude, it is turning out to be an amazing day. <laughs> February 11th. Look at that habitat. Yes, sir. Here's the homie Brad. Just hiked this Coastal Patch Nose. Brad's lifer, my lifer. We're out here uh, documenting new species on the res. This is undocumented in Rincon. So first one, just dude was bolting right in front of me, was able to grab it. So we're gonna go get more. We got a Ruber, Rosie Boa, and this guy, sick day. So here's another look at this dude. Look at those big eyes. Um, we are gonna hold on to him and we're gonna give him to our buddy Jeff. So scientific, uh, the scientific guys doing research, scientific guys, the scientists doing research can get a DNA sample from this dude because they're not well documented out in these areas. So we're gonna do our part as a citizen scientist. There's a bird, I don't know what it is, under this rock. I'm gonna slowly walk up on it. It's, I think it's sleeping. Woo! Scared me. Oh, is that a miracle kestrel? I don't know, but now I know how speckled rattlesnakes get birds. What that is that Brad just flipped, but some kind of cocoon chrysalis some creature. Oh, look at that little shoot. That's actually nice. <laughs> This is nice too. Come on, boa. Oh, look at that. Little banded gecko. First one of this nice cloudy day. There's the little cap rock. Habitat. Sweet. Look at that guy. It's a nice little animal. Move it a little further. Oh, pretty little guy. Whoa, don't do that, don't drop your tail. Put your rock back, homie. There we go. Now you just mob right in there, look. There you go. Sweet. All right, we met with our buddy. Got the little tissue sample from this guy for some Yay. scientific research. The girls get to see their lifer, coastal patch nose on the release. So. We're gonna let this guy bounce right now. He's taking off. There, there he goes. Right back where we found him. Gone. So the girls are playing down there. We just released the released the patch nose. So they're playing down here. So I was like, I'm gonna go flip some rocks. So I flipped that rock. And I got this little feisty glossy snake. 
right here on the res. Look at that little dude. It's turning out to be a a good good year already. This is my second glossy snake right here by the river. A little grumpy guy. I've never seen a glossy strike so much, but super cool, stoked. I'm gonna actually flip a couple more rocks now since this dude was just under there chilling. Oh, look at that, a liar. Just flipped a liar right here by the river. Heck yeah, that is sick. As found. Let's see if I can get him out. Look at that, that is a freshie. Man, this is a good spot. I've never flipped these rocks along the river. So sick. Look at that little dude. Glossy and a liar, two seconds later. Yeah. Look at that little dude. Sick. Glossy than a liar. Probably gonna bite me. So this little liar is actually Penny's lifer, huh, Pen? Mm -hmm. Her first liar. So she's kinda, yeah, babe. She's kinda really into it right now, which is cool. Um, I wasn't expecting to flip anything. I just flipped a couple rocks, glossy, then a liar. But we're gonna let him go because it's cooling off. And he's uh, he's probably a hatchling. He was probably hatched in September or so. So, see beautiful pattern. And little Penny, say hi, Pen. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay, we're gonna put him right back where we found him. Right in there. Later, little buddy. And then we're gonna take the glossy to get a little tissue sample for the scientists, huh? Yeah. All right, let's go home. Here's the last look at this little glossy, little feisty dude. It's the rock I flipped him under, so we're gonna let him go right back under it. He's a little feisty guy. But uh, yeah, let him go. Go ahead, back under your rock. Go ahead, buddy. Trying to put him under his rock, he don't want to go. He's a little defensive, a little scared. Let's see if we'll go back in there. He didn't want to go, so I'm gonna to try to help him. There we go. Sweet, sweet find. And C2, another baby liar right here, even smaller than the one yesterday, just flipped. Look at that, <sighs> nice. All right, here's one last look at this second little liar from this spot, a little bit smaller than the other dude. He's about done with me though, so put him right back where he was. He was right down there under this larger boulder that he's actually sitting on, so. All right, let's get this little dude back in his little spot. There he goes, sick. <laughs>